Hey everybody, and welcome back to some more wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid. And last we left off, I found the house I think I'm going to call my safe house. I'm pretty positive this is where I want to call home. And I think, I'm not entirely sure actually, let's take a look. It's a similar setup, I don't, this might be Bald Spot's new setup, like the old home of Bald Spot. And the reason I say that is because uh, we've got the shed in the back, it's a very similar setup over here. And I wonder, let's take a look at the next door neighbors, if there are any. There is a next door neighbor. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not in the. Maybe I'm not in Bald Spot's old home. Maybe I'm just being insane and thinking I am. Um, I thought for a split second we might be, but actually no. I don't. I think we're just in a similar looking home, and I just got confused because I'm Mathis, and that's what happens. I get very confused about things. Don't judge me. I am who I am. Anyway, so let's get organized. Let's take a look at our situation. Can we close this? There we go. Uh, let's take a look at our situation here, and let's see if we can uh, organize a little bit. So let's pop up in our duffel bag, and let's move things over to the fridge. I think that's probably the best bet right now. Uh, radish, I don't want any of this food to go bad. I think we go hungry. I can't remember if I tested that last time, but I'm pretty sure we do go hungry. Uh, bowls of water can go in here for now. I am going to empty out the whiskey bottle. I'm going to drink that right on up and make sure that we do end up uh, filling that with water. So that's going to be next. And then TV dinners can go in here next, afterward. Two TV dinners. Alright, let's get our character a little bit tipsy. Empty bottle of whiskey. Let's just eat it. Why not? Because for some reason it quenches thirst, even though it's alcohol. And scientifically speaking, it will not do any thirst quenching. But we might as well get rid of it, because putting some water in it will be much more useful than no water in it. Fill empty bottle. And there we go. So we can store up some more things here. Uh, we'll put this bottle of whiskey water in here. It'll always have a nice little alcoholic aftertaste. My character loves it. And um, let's go make sure that anything else that's useful is actually gone. Let's actually make sure we check everything. Uh, I want to be thorough. We'll get this kettle of popcorn out of here for now. And uh, let's see, let's see. Looks like that's going to be it. Peanut butter, peanut butter. We'll move that over to the fridge as well. That looks like about it. So we'll move this all over the fridge. Now, because of the way the inventory looks now compared to the way it worked before, I actually have no issues make, uh, putting everything in, in one spot. I think it makes a much easier situation for me when I'm looking for food. I don't need to go through a million different containers. The reason I needed to, to separate it and organize it before was because the way it worked prior... Oh, wait. What's in here? Nails and battery... The way inventory worked prior with the left hand tab popping open and the really small arrow buttons to click on just made it incredibly difficult for me to do pretty much any organization whatsoever. So uh, that was uh, something that um, kind of forced me to use multiple different containers to keep things organized. That way I didn't have to spend like an hour going through everything. But now that the, the inventory system is a lot cleaner looking, I don't have to worry about that. Have I been in here? I have been in here. Alright, that's right. This was pretty useless, wasn't it? So the immediate concern for us is going to be looting all the nearby houses and making sure there's nothing at all useful for us. And uh, let's just take a look. Uh, like I said, the two neighboring houses are going to be the uh, primary first look for us. Uh, making sure there are no immediate threats of any zombies. All the curtains are drawn on this one, which worries me a little bit. And the reason that worries me is because I, I can hear them. And the trees behind me makes me feel like they can come up behind me at any moment. Actually, yep, they're coming through the trees. I knew it. I knew that that would be the case. So we're going to see if we can pop open a window here quickly. Probably not going to happen. There they come. Girl, oh, look, it's boyfriend and girlfriend. Ah, oh, isn't that cute? All right, let's uh, knock you on the ground and crush your skull. Next. All right, yeah, come on, bring it down. Up, down, up, down. Oh, come on. Okay, we're back up. We're not doing a lot of damage because we're exhausted, so we can't run. We're probably not swinging as hard as we could be. Here she comes. She is so cute, isn't she? Alright. Do you have anything useful on you? Food at all? Nope. Alright, let's try to pop this window open again. Try to get in this house. Come on. I will smash the window if I have to. Oh, but we don't have to. Beautiful. Alright, let's make sure. Slowly going through. Um, because we don't know what's in here. The curtains were drawn except for those two rooms, which should be safe. Uh, but let's just take what we can here. 
Um, dry ramen noodles. We'll even take the bowl because we can fill that up afterward. Cooking pot, which we can definitely fill up with water. Pack that up in the duffel bag. Put up the peanut butter. Good food. Good, good, good. Dog food. Can't do anything with it yet. Uh, I'm not going to take the other cooking pot yet. Let's see. Nothing at all. Be a little careful. Just be very careful, actually. A lot of literature to read in here. That'll help with the boredom situation when that does end up happening. But for now, we're okay. Luckily, no zombies. All right, let's keep our bat ready. This next room, I think I got a quick look in. I'm pretty sure it's safe, but you never know. Yep, we're good. And nothing at all useful in here. Actually, the sheet. The sheet is incredibly useful. Let's grab the sheet. As soon as that's moved... We'll get out of here and move on to the next place. Uh, we will leave this door open to mark that we have been here. Okay, there was a third zombie. That scared me slightly. Well, he's nice and weak, though. Fell to pieces really quickly. Uh, we are slightly exhausted, so we got to be careful. Try not to do much exertion here. And let's take a look over here. Oh, good. Blunt is going up now, which is excellent. Um, can we not? There we go. All right. We should probably try the door first, actually. Whoop, a lot of zombies. Not a lot, but a some zombies are over here. But hopefully they will not notice us as we try and pry open this window and get inside. If we can hit these three houses before night, before I have to go to bed, uh, that'll be good. Nightfall is upon us, but we could probably make pretty decent progress. Come on. There we go. And... Oh, an alarm. I was like, why are they wandering this way? But that would be why. If I can just sneak away... Um, and they can just all go to the house. No worries on my end. Let them all... Whoa! Okay. Alright. Um, what I'm gonna try and do is just sneak into this house right here. And that'll be good. I'm gonna try and get in here. And cl close. I don't think they're bashing on this window here. I think they're all over there. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm a little nervous. Um, but we should be okay. Let the horde go do their thing. I'm just gonna walk away quietly. They're gonna go to the noise because they're dumb zombies. That house we can come back to. The house's alarm has been tripped. So that is something we can definitely come back to at a later time. Um, my worry now is if I end up tripping an alarm over here, they might come trying... If Like, if I come to this house over here, uh, way off to the right, I might end up tripping an alarm, which may draw them directly across and into this house here. And I don't want them bashing on my windows. Um, whoa! Whoa! Oh, man, that's a blast from the past. Joey Lawrence. Brotherly love, Philadelphia. Yeah. Does anybody remember that show, The Lawrence Brothers? God, I remember that show. It was a terrible. All right. Let's uh, see if we can get into this house. Could try the doors. If an alarm goes off, I'll actually kind of take that as a blessing in disguise. Hopefully draw the horde away from the house over there, and I can hopefully loot the hell out of it. But for now, as long as he can just pop the sucker open, I'll be quite happy. How many zombies have we killed? Ten zombies. Is that we good? No alarm. No alarm. Excellent. Let's go in. Wow, nice. Uh, we don't want to sleep. We just want to close the window. Come on. Close the window. There we go. All right, let's do a quick loot here. And we got to get home after this. Our character's getting really tired. All right. Ah, right, perfect. Throw all of this in the duffel bag. Looking really good. As far as I can tell... It seems as though the food bug has not been fixed. I'm not getting hungry, um, so that's kind of a problem. I'd like to see that get fixed at some point. But, uh, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. Hopefully, it will be fixed soon. In time, anyway. Uh, let's take a look. What is that over there? I'm actually very curious to go check it out. So, this house had three pieces of food. We can actually go check out this area over here real quick, just to see what this is. This is somebody's, like, parking spot. Maybe there's, like, a little, like piece of like uh, tarp over this or something all right well good enough let's get out of here let's head home let's organize we'll have just enough hours to organize before our character needs to get some sleep and then after getting some sleep we can loot hopefully what the the less the rest rather not the less the rest 
of the close homes, the neighboring homes, and that'll be uh, hopefully. Well, there we go. Hopefully, make a, for a good a good haul. I am a little uh, upset that we are still still get not getting uh, hungry. I would love to see us our characters get hungry. It's not happening though. All right, let's uh, pop open the duffel bag. Strawberries in there. Salmon in there. Ramen noodles, not the gun. We're going to keep the gun on us just in case. Apple. Can I actually? Yeah. Um, I was thinking about reloading it, but I'm going to load up the chips because we don't need to carry them. We're not really needed for food right now. Uh, we should probably eat a little bit just to kind of simulate hunger, just so that in case it does get fixed, we'll have uh, we'll have something to worry about, essentially. And we'll eat a radish. Mmm. Deliciousness. Slightly fed. And there we go. Alright, let's head upstairs to bed. Come on, shut the door. I should just hit E from now on to use to do that. Just a contextual key, it works best. So I found. Come on. There you go. Jesus Christ. And we'll get some sleep. Yes, I do. And we are not gonna get hungry, of course. What time is he gonna sleep till is the question. Come on. There we go. 4.40 in the morning. He's an early riser. We'll call it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Nye. We'll see you next time.